In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the fastest way to dig a trench or a hole. Stay tuned, it's all coming up next. What's going on folks? Kendall here with Benoles for Pros and Joes, helping you simplify the renovation and remodeling process. On this channel, we do hands-on product tool and gear reviews, as well as renovation tip and strategy videos. So if you're interested in renovation, remodeling, repair, real estate, home improvement, or property maintenance, then subscribe because this channel and this content is for you. So today I'm on site at a French drain project. As you can see behind me, we've already removed our top layer of soil and sod, and we're getting ready to dig out to remove and excavate the old pipe so that we can make way for the new drainage system. So as I mentioned earlier, we've already done the initial removal of the sod. And if you look closely here, you can see that the drainage pipe has been partially exposed here. This is an old asphalt pipe. This is approximately 40 to 50 years old. We've just removed enough soil so that we can see exactly the way that it runs through the yard here. See, we've got some big tree roots to contend with. Here we've exposed it again and you can see another section of it here. If I kind of move this dirt away, you can see pipe is running through here. It continues through here. And we can see that it terminates right here at the base of this tree is where we're going to be running it. So we're going to excavate this entire area and then we are going to come back with a new drainage system that is going to be a lot more efficient with getting water off of the property. So as we kick this project off, the first thing we're gonna do is remove this gigantic root here in the center of our trench with a reciprocating saw. The reciprocating saw that we're gonna be using is going to be paired with a pruning blade. For your convenience, all the tools that are gonna be used in this video can be found in the description box below with links. Now we're gonna be using this tool pretty regularly as we dig out this trench because there are tons of roots of various sizes. So you're gonna see me using it quite a bit. The next thing we're going to be using is going to be our demo hammer paired with a shovel spade bit. But before we get there, we're going to keep cutting here and get these pieces out of here. And I'm going to quickly show you what some of these large pieces of root look like before we change angles over here and we get out our demo hammer to start doing some of our faster digging. So now you can see right now how this trench looks. And now I'm going to go ahead and get our cords and everything ready to go and then we're going to begin to dig. As you can see, when we're working with this demolition hammer and this spade attachment, it really speeds things up. Now it does not move a ton of dirt. Uh, that's why I've got the other shovels here and I'm using that trench shovel here to kind of move our dirt out of the way more quickly and efficiently and kind of using our spade bit here to kind of loosen up the soil and kind of get everything ready and primed up to just kind of scoop it out of the way. You wouldn't believe how much time that saves and how much energy it saves as well. So we're just going to be kind of using this technique the entire time. Now, one thing that I did not mention earlier about this is that this in this trench, we've got a piece of asphalt pipe down here, and this pipe is extremely brittle. So the main reason why we're going to be excavating in the way that we are is that we don't want to break this pipe. And hitting it with the shovel or tapping it even with this tool will cause the pipe to shatter which will create more cleanup work. Now, in other applications, you may have been able to just abandon this section of drain and establish a new path for the drain. However, because of the tight space around the property here that we're working on, it was gonna be easier to just use the exact same path that was already there. In order to do that, we've got to remove the entire drain that's already there. Additionally, this pipe also passes underneath a driveway or a sidewalk and so we want to be able to push out that old pipe and install our new pipe along that same path since it is the same diameter pipe that we're going to be using um, with our new setup now another thing that we also wanted to avoid here was having to establish a new path and dig out around more roots because if we had chosen a different path we would still run into a gazillion roots at least as we're going down this path we kind of have a good idea that we've got something in the ground that is preventing some of the roots from being in the exact location where we want our drain pipe to run, at least we think. As we move on further, you'll see that there's actually roots inside of the pipe that we're going to be removing. And we're kind of just slowly but surely excavating along our path here. Just as an FYI, the distance from the house out to our destination point where we're gonna be terminating our pipe to is approximately 56 to 57 feet 
we'll just round up and call it 60 for the purposes of this video. And the main thing that I'm doing right now is trying to make sure that I can see the entire pipe because we're gonna to try to dig out the dirt around either side of the pipe and then we're gonna lift out each one of these pieces in sections. Because this is an old style technology, being that it's asphalt, when this type of pipe was installed, it only came in, I wanna say three foot sections. So you'll be able to see that as we begin to dig out, that it's not down here in long runs. And so we've gotta make sure that we, as we remove each section of this, that we're trying to make sure that we don't bust each one into a thousand pieces as we go. So that's the main reason why we're trying to be so careful with digging out along either side of the pipe. And then we're also trying to cut through our roots here to make it easier for us to put our new piece back in there. Remember that one of the main things we're also gonna be concerned with when we're trying to put everything back is to make sure that we've got enough slope on this pipe to be able to run to daylight without having any type of flow areas in our path to its termination point. So you can see here, I'm still cutting through roots, cutting through roots, cutting through roots. There's unbelievable amount of roots in the ground here as we're digging this out. And so you can see here as we're starting to move some of that pipe out of there, I've got the regular shovel there that we're using and you can see that it's just breaking up there. I'm gonna remove these pieces by hand and kind of toss them to the side. And you can see there's already some shards there, even though we didn't really do that much to it, it just kind of shatters. You can see this one is kind of collapsing on itself. Now that section of root there in the center is actually growing inside of that pipe there. And this is one of the main locations where this pipe was compromised. And you can see as we kind of continue to work there that there's more and more roots all along the way here as well as running beside this pipe. So we're gonna pull out each piece of it. You can see we've kind of moved closer and further towards the straw area here. We're just kind of moving slowly but surely. As we get closer to the straw area, there's more tree roots that we run into. Fewer large tree roots, but just a lot more higher concentration of tree roots overall. As you can see, we're just kind of making the work move a lot slower. So if we did not have all of this down here, you're probably wondering how I would do this. I would more or less just kind of draw out the path that I wanted to dig and just dig it all out. But because we're having to actually remove something that's already in the ground and make sure that we've got this cleaned out so that we can install exactly the way that it is, it kind of is important for us to make sure that we've got everything cleaned out and set up exactly the way we want to. Removing this shrub right here or this plant is also a pretty big pain, but we're able to actually get it out in a clump and just kind of roll it off to the side. That way we can just kind of continue with our trench. When we get everything back, we can get our soul and everything compacted back down and we can kind of roll this back out on top. Of course, there are more tree roots in there, as you can see. Big ones there are pretty easy to deal with. We're just kind of continue to dig and move our soil out of the way here. We're going to be putting all this dirt back where it was once we get everything installed, but we're not that far along yet. Just kind of cleaning everything out, working, 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 working. And it's important to note that if you're going to be doing this type of project, that you want to make sure that you're pacing yourself. You see that huge section right there of smaller roots that were inside of that pipe that kind of fell down there that were kind of a, a darker color and position up further up into our island area over here where we've got straw and we're just going to kind of trench 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 this is one of the areas right here believe it or not where there's the highest concentration of roots like you can barely even see the roots and i'm just having to just stick the blade of the saw on the ground and just cut through the dirt because there are so many roots in there and they're so packed so tightly together that you can't even expose them with the shovel without having to, to have some assistance here with the reciprocating saw. As you can see, we're cutting through multiple roots here all at the same time and just kind of shoveling out the pieces and kind of slowly, slowly, slowly working along here. You can see that there's a tons of smaller roots in here as well that are all over the place. Kind of frustrating at times, but we're moving pretty good. Must be answering the phone there or something like that. So continuing to dig out here. As you can look over here to the right side, you can see there is the dogwood tree that's kind of leaning out just right in front of that or closer to the, the camera side. That's where we're gonna be terminating. We're gonna actually run our pipe out just past it. And that's gonna be the end of our run, which is approximately 57 feet, give or take, from the property. Now the thing to also keep in mind with this, I didn't shoot it, but right up against the house is where the actual gutter system is located and the height of everything that's installed on the property is already pre-existing and we can't move it 
It's got kind of an elaborate gutter system on there, and it's got like a trough set up that's down low to the ground. And so we've got to tie into this thing at a predetermined height. So we've got to get our fall from that height that's already been determined. And so that's one other reason why it makes a lot more sense to just go ahead and remove the old pipe altogether and then run our new pipe in its exact same location. So you can see now I'm getting low in here. We're digging out more and more dirt. You can really see all of the roots that are in here. So this is actually some pretty slow digging right here, but really not, not too bad, all things considered, because the soil is not that hard. It's just that you can't really move that far without running into a million and one tree roots, but we're almost there. As you can see here, when we were digging in the yard, it was pretty easy to just dig straight down and get right on top of the pipe. Believe it or not, the pipe is laying right here below all this network of roots and just can't get to it very easily. And I'm having to cut through all of the roots above it and on either side of it to be able to get to a point where we can actually start to really excavate and expose it here. But you'll be able to see pieces of it here in one section. You can kind of see pieces of it there cracking up in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm kind of just continuing to work using my foot there to, to kick off some of that dirt there. And we're kind of keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. But you can kind of slowly see it being revealed. But each time we move the shovel a couple of inches or move a couple of scoopfuls of dirt, you'll see that there's more and more and more and more roots. And that's because we're getting closer into an area where there's quite a few mature trees. And so that's kind of to be expected. If you're going to be doing a project like this and you're going to be working in an area that doesn't really have very many trees or any trees at all, this is something that you probably won't have to deal with. And you're going to have a much easier time digging your trenches. And so as you can see there, the blade is on that wood and you can see that smoke coming up from the blade there uh, as we're cutting through a, another piece of root there that's in the ground. And as you can see, every time I move that shovel, there's another piece of root that we're cutting through. And so in this area right here, the network of roots is pretty tight together. And so I may be cutting through three or four or five or six pieces of root each time that I stick that blade down in the ground, even though you can't see it. And that's kind of one of the reasons why it, it's helpful to have a longer blade there so that you can work a little bit better and keep your saw out of the dirt. So as you can see there, we're getting some pretty good headway going here. And you can see that that pipe is start, slowly starting to be revealed. Now see that portion of it right there just turned into dust basically on that bottom left-hand corner. That is pipe material or asphalt there. And as you can see, as we're trying to slowly dig it out there, it's just getting crushed all up. This section of the pipe is in a little bit worse condition than the portion that was underneath the sod area in this yard. So we're continuing to dig, continuing to dig. This portion is not going to come out nearly as pretty as the sections that we just pulled out. So we're more or less just trying to make sure that we've got a clear path to be able to get all of it out and that we're going to go ahead and set ourselves up to be able to install the new pipe relatively easily because we can see here that it's not going to come out in whole sections so we're going to have a little bit more cleanup and prep work here you can see that still some of it's coming out in in some larger pieces but just kind of having to pull there's more more and more and more and more roots there that little piece that i just pulled out there up towards the top of the right hand corner there that is the last piece that's going to get us to daylight and so that's the area where we're going to be terminating the pipe right there where I'm digging out right now. We're going to run out our pipe a little bit further than we have to, and then we'll eventually come back and trim it down to the exact length that we want it. But for right now, we want to make sure that we've got a clear path from start to finish on this thing. And that way we can begin to lay out our, our pipes and everything else like that. We have a lot fewer obstacles to work around because we're probably going to be pretty tired at that point. And we're going to be trying to go ahead and wrap things up with as much speed as possible and so that pretty much concludes it we've got our trench dug here and we're going to kind of walk back and look at the area that we've cleared off because we didn't go and dig out the portion over here close to the house but you can see that we've got the majority of our pipes removed and you can see the section here that we're going to be removing next when i come back we'll have all this dug out and we're going to be ready to start installing our new drain pipe it's going to be after dark so stay tuned because we're going to be working late on this one we've got rain coming in tomorrow and so we've got to get this project wrapped up today
See you guys on the next one.